Hello again, everyone, and thanks for joining us as we tape another segment of Chicago Lawyer Magazine's Inside Out, a discussion of various aspects of the law from the unique perspective of our husband and wife team, David Sussler and Tina Martini. David has the inside perspective. He's Associate General Counsel at National Material LP. Tina, a partner at DLA Piper, has the outside perspective. I'm Andy Shaw, President and CEO of the Better Government Association, and your host for these segments. We're talking today about managing different personalities, and let me start by asking you why it's important to be able to do this. Well, because everyone that we encounter in the world has different personalities, and if you want to get things done, and if you want to be able to effectively communicate with people, um, and to be able to collaborate, you have to really understand where people are coming from and understand that sometimes different people have different approaches, both to work as well as to life. And it's important to keep that in mind and really try to see things from other people's perspectives so that you're able to more effectively manage through situations. Yeah, that, I agree. That, and, you know, as an in-house attorney, and for in-house attorneys, it's especially important because of all the different constituencies we have to deal with on a daily basis. You know, you, you've got your business colleagues, you, if, if you work in a law department or more than one, you're dealing with lawyers, dealing with outside lawyers, you're dealing with people at all levels of the agency who have their own agendas, their own needs, their own perspectives. So it's really important to be able to deal with all different kinds of people and personalities. And when you're in a law firm, especially a large law firm like mine, where you're trying to service clients across a bunch of different practice lines, you're going to encounter different types of people, and it's in, in very incredibly important to be able to collaborate with people regardless of you know, what sort of generation they may come from or how what their working style is and, and so forth. As I've told our viewers and listeners in these segments, I'm not a lawyer, um, and so I don't know what the curriculum is in law school, even though my oldest daughter is one, and I'm guessing psychology is not necessarily one of the courses you take. So how do you sort of figure out someone's personality before you actually get to know them when that probably isn't something that has been part of your law school curriculum? Well, I would say that, you know, first and foremost, Think about who they may know and see if there's any intersection in the folks you know with the folks that that person knows and speak to the people that you may know in common about that person. Um, oftentimes, especially if someone has been, like in my law firm, for example, if someone's been here for a while, you can often get to know about somebody even if you don't know them directly just from what you hear anecdotally from people in conversations or through information that is shared through di different knowledge management devices like our intranet where you can read about what different people are up to and sometimes folks write articles and whatnot so you can learn a lot about people that way and also by just doing online research and seeing what you can find out about them especially if you're looking to learn more about a client the different folks that may work there there's so much information that's available these days about people on the internet it really is amazing especially when you compare it to 20 years ago when i started practicing when getting information was a lot more difficult yeah i and i do the same thing it would make the same recommendations you know you talk talk to other people if you're talking about people within your organization um, you know, like for example, I've been in my company for eight years now. My boss has been there for 22 years. He's an easy person to go to, especially when I was new. You know, tell me about this person. You talk to colleagues, talk to friends who may know somebody. Um, I'm a big fan, for example, of looking at law firm websites and lawyer bios. If I'm dealing with a lawyer on the other side or new outside counsel, I don't know. I'll look up their, their bio. It's a great way to learn something before you ever meet them. And here, this final question in this segment is for young associates and also tone-deaf partners and friends, <laughs> which is, what tips would you suggest to colleagues for dealing with difficult personalities, which you're going to have inside firms and among your clients? Well, I think acknowledging that you are dealing with a difficult personality is the first step towards achieving... Well, not calling a, them one. Not calling them one, but just knowing when you go in and understanding why they're a, quote, difficult personality. Because what you may find is that one person's definition of a difficult personality may not necessarily align with yours. 
So knowing you're dealing with a difficult personality is often a very important first step because then as you're interfacing with them, you're able to sort of change your approach and maybe do a little bit more listening than talking. You'll understand what sort of, I guess, approaches may work better for them. Sometimes people prefer somebody who's a little bit more verbal, who's a little bit maybe even more outspoken, someone who engages in a lively debate. Some people are like that. Other people would rather let you speak first and then they speak about something. So it's really just a matter of knowing what you're dealing with and sort of feeling your way through a situation and understanding that you may have to tread a little bit more carefully than you ordinarily would with somebody that you may know better who's a little bit more like you. So it sounds like what you're saying is you have to do the shifting and the alteration rather than expecting them to because I think one aspect of a difficult personality is they're not going to meet you halfway. You maybe have to come 80% of the way. Right, mm -hmm. right. I mean, this is another aspect of, of emotional intelligence in learning how to deal with different personalities. Um, you know, and I think I put this in the printing column, it's, I believe you attract uh, more flies with honey than with vinegar. So I, I, I will always default to that approach, at least initially. Sometimes it's not going to work. And a lot of times learning to deal with a difficult personality is trial and error. You can seek advice from trusted colleagues or friends or mentors. Uh, it, to, to learn how to deal with somebody, especially if you've had prior encounters. And it may take some time, but I think it takes a lot of patience and perseverance uh, and developing a thick skin to understand, hey, it's not me, but I have to deal with this person. And, so. Yeah, and being nimble when you're in the moment because you may go in thinking you sort of have a plan or a strategy for dealing with the person and then they may throw you a curveball. I mean, oftentimes that happens. So you you have to sort of be in the moment, be listening to what they're saying, watch the verbal, you know, watch the nonverbal cues as well as listening to the verbal cues, and then be be able to adjust your approach accordingly. Right, and there may be times if you know, in the worst case scenario, you may need to exit the interaction and resume it later when you've figured out a better way to deal. Anybody want the last word or do I get it? You get it. <laughs> David Sussler, Tina Martini, thank you. This has been uh, another segment of uh, Chicago Lawyer Magazine's Inside Out. I'm Andy Shaw. Thanks for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. And we'll come back uh, in a few weeks with a little bit more of a touchy-feeling, feely year-ender. So join us. <laughs>